Well, this is exciting because they are known as one of the country's best and most historic rock radio stations tonight. We are celebrating the story. It's an amazing story of 100.7 WMMS. The buzzard. The buzzard. Uh, they're best known <laughs> as the buzzard. That iconic logo actually turns 50 years old. For more, we welcome former program director John Gorman, former DJ Denny Sanders, and the creator of the buzzard logo, artist David Helton. John Thank you so much. Oh, appreciate happy, you guys happy being to here. Be here. Thank I you. said you guys are icons. You're legends. Right. I mean, <laughs> legends. It took 50 years, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, you were always legend. We even said we grew up here. We grew up listening to you guys yeah. and everything that you did. I mean. And first of all, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for putting oh. together a great radio station thank, and being the, the soundtrack for our yeah. lives. That's what we were was, trying to yeah. do. Yeah. yeah, it was a lot of fun. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know what? We just brought up because Hinkley had the buzzard thing, and right. I remember even saying, I remember when all this with the buzzard, and that's how all this really happened. You're the artist. Talk about how, what, how did all this come to be? I, I, I was new in town. I'm not a, a, a native Clevelander, but my heart's here. Yeah. But when I came to town, I was only here a few months, and I was sending in cartoons to the radio station to, uh, just uh, randomly. But these two guys had the idea of a buzzard itself. They came to wow. me with the idea, and I said, well, what is a how does a buzzard fit in? Right, right, what's what? going a on buzzard. here? Because yeah. I'm from out of town. I don't really know, and yeah. I'm uh, new in town. But they had the idea, and it was uh, I just did it overnight. Um, they, they, he brought me the idea in the afternoon. The next morning, I had the first advertisement. But it was done that way. It was done very quickly, and I thought, well, this is just a one-shot. That's all it's going right. to be. But it started happening, it started rolling, people responded, the audience loved it. Yeah. It was just something at a time, that the timing was right. Yeah. Alignment of the planets, all of that. Right. <laughs> so it was a good thing. But uh, they actually had the idea originally, and I'm just the artist, I came along. But the three of us put it together, really created it together. together. So John, was it, the, was it the Hinkley buzzards, or was it the buzzards hey, hey, no, circling we, the station because you were in last place? No, we didn't, we, didn't know, we didn't even know about Hinkley at the time. Oh, really? Okay. That's came true. Back, yeah, okay. We were trying to, this, this was uh, actually said late, late 1973, yeah. we were looking for a new image for MMS, which uh, we were in last place. Yeah. We were trying to get ratings, we were trying to get people to listen. And we started looking, you know, we have a good person, we have great personalities on the air, we have a great team, why don't we look at it like a sports team instead of a radio station? Uh, pe the people on the air are, are players, yeah. but we need a mascot. And we oh. kept talking about, well, what should we do for a mascot? We couldn't come up with anything. And it was just the circumstance of events. At the time, Cleveland was, you know, Fortune 500 companies were leaving town. Yeah. People were leaving town. Factories were moving to the Sun Belt. And Cleveland was a dying city. And uh, to make a long story short, I, yeah, driving home after his conversation one day, I'm driving up Euclid Avenue, and you know what, Euclid past East 105th was like the Bronx. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you roll a bowling ball and down the street, right? right. Exactly, <laughs> and it was like, well, what else would you, you know, I'm thinking of mascots. It's like, what else would we be uh, flying over a dying, a dying city except a buzzard? I love it. Wow. And so the next day I mentioned to Denny, and Denny first said the buzzard, then said, no, here we are. And we started thinking about it, saying, Yes, everybody's so negative about Cleveland. Yeah. And, I, and I, I'm originally from Boston. I had moved here. And people would say, why did you move here? As if it was the worst place <laughs> right. in the world. Oh, my God. But I'm looking at Cleveland a different way. Fresh, actually, yeah. you have Metro Parks, you have exactly. the lake, you have uh, all mm -hmm. these. It's a diamond in the rough. Mm -hmm. Let's make a negative into a positive. That's and exactly it. That's it what happened. It was happens. a negative into a positive, And we kind of... Uh, rallied the post-war yep. baby boom generation yeah. and said, look, you're coming in to take over Cleveland now. Let's take it over with rock and roll. Let's not forget that Alan Freed originated the term mm -hmm. rock and roll at your own radio state, WJW Radio, years yeah. ago. Yeah. And uh, uh, let's play up the fact that there's something to be proud of in Cleveland. And it was the uh, people hadn't done that in years. The old guard was just ready to retire and they right. were just checking out and we represented the new yeah. uh, 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 population of Cleveland and rock and roll really helped to solidify yeah. Uh, the image of Cleveland in a positive way. Well, and you guys started so many careers in rock and roll, we right. can't even begin to walk down that yeah. memory lane. Well, but <laughs> part, talk of about too, well, part of that too had to do with we had to get a national reputation. Yeah. And if we started breaking music out of Cleveland, all of a sudden, the record companies and managers and the, and the bands themselves say, 
we've got to play Cleveland. Yeah. We have to replay attention to Cleveland well, and it, it worked. It's amazing what you guys have all created, what you've all done, and, and how to the buzzer meant something. Having yeah. a t-shirt growing up yeah. wasn't just call letters of a radio station. It meant something because yeah. it was the buzzer and like only in, you knew it. You Those got are it. my proudest moments as yeah, an artist. Yeah. I was seeing all these kids wearing my t-shirts yeah. and things. And, right. You know, I had sent those cartoons into the station, right. and that's when those two saw it, when they had the idea for the buzzard. I, coincidentally, alignment of the planets, coincidentally, I sent my cartoons in, and they said, this is the guy. Well, people Love are it. still wearing the T-shirts. Yeah, right? right. A lot of big and artists. A lot of them made their own T-shirts. We yeah. had more yeah. than one uh, person show up with uh, buzzard tattoos. Wow. Oh my. I can tell you one story. A fellow showed up uh, at the lobby of the station. He won a record, and he came to pick it up. And he says, I've got a buzzard tattoo. You want to see it? And I said, sure. And he says, Depending well, I got it right. It he says, I got it right here on my butt. No. And I said, never mind. Never mind. It's all right. I said, I'll take your word for it. We're gonna hear, you're going to hear some of these great stories tonight and a lot more. And we want to let everybody true. know that uh, we can uh, pull up that graphic once again. Let everybody know about the thing at the Music Box Supper Club. That is going to be happening uh, tonight. We want to give all that information. We have it. Can we put it up? And you guys are going to be selling buzzard merchandise, yeah. too, which is amazing. We are. A little market before the uh, talk at from 3 to 5 this okay. afternoon. Oh, oh cool. my gosh. And free admission. And the doors for the event actually open at 5, and then 7 o'clock is That's the big correct. talk. That's yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, free admission. Table RSVP required if you want to do that. Yeah. Thank you guys for we coming. We need to have you here pleasure. for an hour yeah. so we can just one of these days go through all of this stuff. Thank you for having Everything you brought yeah. here is amazing to have the three of you together. Thank just you. I don't even know what to say. Yeah. Go Thanks. check them out tonight. Really the Thanks Thanks for the, uh, the stories and the logo and all that merchandise. Great as well. event. Okay. Have fun tonight. Enjoy it.